Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my honest review of Wix. So if you wanna know more about website building, this video is for you. So let me tell you a little bit about myself so you can understand how I got started with Wix. Anyway, I love traveling and I have always enjoyed blogging about what I do on my vacations, whether it's the various food options, fun trips I've gone on, what transportation is like, different hotel options, and so on. Now, after I came back from my vacation last year, I thought, why not start a blog? But I didn't know how to make that happen. So in this video, I'll show you Wix's features and tell you what I liked and didn't like about my experience building a website with them. Plus, I'll break down their plans and pricing. And just so you know, Wix does have a free plan, but I think you should start with their combo paid plan to avoid having to deal with Wix branding and domains on your site. Also, just so you know, Wix isn't paying me for this review. I'm here to help you decide whether they're the right fit for you by sharing my honest experience. Also, if you're interested in Wix, I'm going to leave a link to a coupon code I found in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. It's a discount you won't find by going directly to their website. Okay, let's break down what Wix is all about. So if you haven't heard of Wix yet, it's a cool system for building and hosting websites that started in 2006. Their whole goal is to make creating and hosting websites really easy. Now, from my point of view, they've really nailed what web designers need, especially for beginners. They show you everything from nice pre-made templates to all the features you'll need to personalize your website. Plus, they've got a ton of handy features for all sorts of website needs, like setting up an online store or sorting out shipping costs with cool integrations. Now, let me share my perspective. I found Wix super friendly for small to medium businesses. If you like a clean, simple look, this is perfect for you. There are other options like WordPress, that might be better for building a big business website with all the extras. Now, getting started with Wix is super easy. Just put in some basic information and in no time, you're in their website building area. For people who are either new to this or just wanna get better, Wix has a lot of helpful guides, video tutorials, and tips on how to use their tools and shortcuts. Next up, let's get into their different plans and pricing. Wix's plans have a few options to choose from. Starting off, their most basic plan is about connecting your own domain, costing about $5 a month. This is a solid choice if you've already tried their free website version and now want to upgrade to your own domain. Plus, you get access to their 24-7 support, which is always handy in case you need any help. Next up is the combo plan at about $9 a month. This one's a step up giving you more storage and bandwidth, which means your site can handle more visitors and content, which is pretty important if you're expecting a good amount of traffic. But for business sites, I would recommend the unlimited and VIP plans. The unlimited plan is around $13 a month and offers unlimited bandwidth. It's a great way for growing your business without worrying about reaching any limits. It also adds more storage and some cool features like discounts on Google ads, an SEO tool to help your site rank better, and analytics to keep track of how your site and marketing are doing. Then there's the VIP plan, which costs around $25 a month. If your site has a lot of videos, I think you should get this. It's got you covered with enhanced video capabilities. And if you're looking for something more specific, Wix can customize plans to fit specific needs. Also, if you go custom, you can be sure that they will do a good job because they have worked with big names before. Anyway, there are many things I like about Wix. But now let's talk about some of the problems I had with it. The first problem is that the more basic plans have limits on how much bandwidth they can use. And so as the number of people visiting your website grows, you might need to change your plan to keep up. This is something to consider if you're expecting your site to grow quickly. Also, Wix limits how much video content you can upload on their standard plans. So for those of you planning a site heavy on video, you'll likely need to consider their higher tier business plans. Another point to consider is that websites built with Wix might not be the fastest out there. Because of the way Wix hosts and builds websites, they can sometimes load a bit slower than those built on other platforms, especially if your site is heavy on images or features. While it's not a huge issue, it's something to keep in mind, especially for users who want their websites to operate quickly. 
Wrapping things up, my experience with Wix has been pretty solid, especially for anyone starting small or not looking to invest a lot of money into a website right away. I would recommend it to people who want a website that looks good, is easy to use, and gets the job done easily. And Wix makes hard things a lot easier. By looking at your website's performance and making it run better, you can quickly become an expert in marketing with Wix's tools. Plus, having everything about your online business in one place is very helpful. Wix websites all work on mobile devices. That means your site will look great on phones and tablets, whether you make changes to it from scratch or use one of their ready-made templates. This is huge because it means more people can visit your site without any annoying issues. Another cool feature is their social media toolkit. This is an amazing tool for creating unique social media content that can significantly improve your brand's online presence. Let's talk about whether I think you should use Wix. So you might want to look around a bit if your main goal is to host a lot of videos. It's possible that there are other platforms out there that can handle video better and for less money. But if you're okay with Wix's business plan, you can host as many videos as you want, plus other cool features that might help you make up your decision. Now, for small business owners or anyone who wants a simple website that's easy to manage, Wix is a great choice. Their drag and drop interface makes the whole web building process super straightforward. It's perfect if you're not too focused on getting into the details of web design or if you don't want to spend hours figuring out technical stuff. And with Wix, you can be creative with your site without having to worry about how to make it work. So from my own experience, Wix really stands out because it makes building websites easier. They were the first to offer drag and drop and ready-made website design, and they have been getting websites up and running easily for years. And for me, using Wix has been a game changer. It's taken the stress out of managing my website, and hopefully it could do the same for you. Anyway, that's it for my review of Wix and I hope that I've helped you figure out if it's the right choice for you. So if you're just starting out with web design, Wix is a great way to get started. And if you need something a little more complex in terms of your site's features and functions, you can also talk to them directly and they'll be able to build it from scratch and according to your needs. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. And again, if you're interested in Wix, I'm going to leave a link to a coupon code I found in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. It's a discount you won't find by going directly to their website. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.